And here we go with today's OP match. We got Queen Walkers versus Titan Esports of India. And Titan Esports are in with the first attack of the match, bringing us a little Queen Charge hybrid action. Starting off with the Queen on the bottom side of the map. A little funneling on each side. Wall break on the left side of the Town Hall Chamber. Looks like he wants her to just go directly into that Town Hall. Hopefully she'll be able to get both scatter shots and then hybrid from either the left or the right, whichever side he's feeling. Coco Loons find three seeking air mines. Holy banana balls. Queen gets the expo with the help of that rage spell, grabs a skelly trap. Now she'll activate the town hall. Some of the healers are in range, so he is gonna have to invest one free spell to make sure those healers stay alive. Now we're gonna get through the first scatter shot. There's still a lot of damage on the queen. That second rage, was it on time? Ooh. She almost has to pop her ability. That's a lot of damage. She had to pop the ability rip. Finds a tornado trap as well. Finds another two seeking air mines. This side is just stacked with seeking air mines. I think he's got to rage the queen again. And he does. Very smart rage right there. She should hopefully get the other scatter before she dies. She might not even die. He's going to go ahead and invest the freeze just to make sure she gets through all that. Hybrid on the left side of the base. King and Siege Barracks on the outside. First heal's already deployed. CC troops come out. The headhunters gun it for the queen and she snipes them perfectly. Lava Dog goes to the hybrid, which could be an issue because the royal champion is going to get stuck on it. Queen on queen action over here. The defensive girl wins though. So our queen goes down. Healers switch over to the hybrid, which could actually be cash money. He wall breaks on the top side, or maybe that was the yak that busted the king into the base here. This still has a chance. Hold on. He's all out of heal spells, but the healers, he's still got one, two, maybe three healers alive in the middle there. Royal champion kills the enemy king. We still got that royal champ ability. We still got a poison for the lava dog and a freeze. There's hogs and miners still alive. Two wizard towers though, which is a lot of splash. Ooh, this is gonna be a little close on the end. With the freeze and the road champ ability, can he grab this? We need the healers to stay on the road champ. Come on healers, you know you want to. He misses the cannon with the freeze, but got the wizard tower and the single. Ooh, the giant bomb. Come on healers, keep her alive. She goes down. Can the warden and the owl clutch up? I think they can. It's a matter of time. Pekka, wizards for all the buildings on the outside, archers for the air defense. That warden's not gonna die with the healers on him. It's a triple for MJ Manoj from Titan Esports. Gonna get it done against Queen Walkers for the first attack of the match. Down goes the cannon, down goes the storage, down goes the air defense, and it's a clan clash triple for Titan Esports to start off the match versus Queen Walkers. And here we are, Queen Walkers with their first attack of the match. Can they triple to tie it up with Titan Esports? We're going in with a Queen Charge Hybrid with lots of Miners and lots of Hogs going extremely heavy on the Hybrid. 20 Miners, 10 Hogs, Queen starting at 7 o'clock with the Unicorn to help a sister. Wizard on each side to funnel. She's going to grab the air defense, work her way up toward the scatter. The unicorn's going to take quite a bit of splash damage from the scatter shot, which is very unfortunate. Hopefully that unicorn doesn't die. Okay, now the queen kind of moves out of the way, so the unicorn isn't going to get hit from the splash damage. Coco Loon finds a seeking air mine. That's perfect. Queen steps up for the storage. She will be able to get the bomb tower and the scatter shot. He only brought one wall breaker on this attack. So it looks like he's just going to start the hybrid super duper early? Or what's the plan here? Which way does he expect her to go? She will be able to reach the Builder Hut, but she can't reach the single unless she beats through a wall. This is going to be interesting pathing. She is going to beat through a wall, and I guess this is just what he expected. Going to go ahead and invest the first freeze. She gets through the wall in just a couple of seconds. Now, are we going to freeze again? Likely. Rage and freeze again. There it goes. Perfectly done. There's the next rage, and he can start the hybrid from wherever he wants, really. That was perfect pathing for the Queen Charge. Sends a hybrid with the Yak and the Siege Barracks over at 4 o'clock. Hybrid is coming in at 5. Queen dealing with skeletons over there, but she's looking okay. She could reach the Eagle if she passes perfectly here. She needs to step over to the right. CC troops are going for the Hybrid though, not for the Queen. We're going to drop the Poison for the Headhunters. Heal early. Pop King ability. He's going to kill the enemy King. We get through the enemy Queen. Queen goes for the Eagle. Oh my gosh, this pathing is just perfect for the Queen. That Queen charge is so nice and it didn't cost us hardly anything. Now we can pop the Warren ability, rage up the hybrid, because we didn't even need that last rage for the hybrid whatsoever. We still got another heal and another freeze for the back end of the base, and we might not even need that freeze. All the Inferno Towers are dead. There's nothing that can stop the Queen. 
The hybrid is just going smooth as can be. This is crushed. Holy crap. The plan from Akira was just perfect. Look at this. He doesn't even need the heal. He can swag it. Pops the RC ability. Down goes the scatter shot. Queen can finish off the defense over here. 45 seconds for cleanup. And he can swag a heal and a freeze. Akira is OP. And Queen Walker is looking solid to start off today's match. What a nice Queen Charge hybrid from them to tie it up three stars apiece and put all the pressure right back on the Titan Esports going into the second round of attacks. And the next attack for Titan Esports is in on Yuta 14's base. Coming in with a Yeti from the south side to funnel. It is gonna be an Inferno Baby Dragon spam attack. Let's see how he can do on Yuta 14's base. Queen and King from nine o'clock. He did use two lightnings for an air sweeper in the middle of the base. Sending all the Inferno Babies from the southwest side of the base early as heck, Warden ability as usual. Skeleton spells scattered all over the place to help distract some of the defenses and the enemy heroes. The Lava Dog gets pulled from the CC because the King goes inside. That's actually a little bit unfortunate. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall will get there nice and easily. Tons of Builder Huds in that compartment. Hello Tornado Trap! Perfect placement on the Tornado Trap from Muta 14, but it still gets there. Warden going down south. Now a lot of these Inferno Babies might take some damage from the Giga Inferno and the Giga Bomb and the Giga Poison. Boom! It goes off. Damages a lot of troops. More Skeleton Spells to distract. King and Queen on the top left are doing a phenomenal job. We haven't got anything to path to the core, but that might not be a big issue because there's no scatter shots or Infernos there. He uses the RC from the top side of the base in combination with the King and the Queen. Warden and Inferno Babies on the right side are going to be able to grab a lot of stuff. There is a Tesla farm on the back end. He's going to go ahead and freeze up the multi. We got one more Skelly and two more freezes. RC might have to pop her ability here on the scatter shot. That'd probably be the best use of her ability to save the most HP. He's trying to hold it as long as possible. She gets through that. Now we can pop her ability on the Tesla farm. Freeze the two Expos. Drop the Skelly trap to distract the Multis. RC goes to the core. Queen Beast through the wall to help assist. Last freeze is down. Warden and one more Inferno Baby alive. And I think we're going to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Champion is not going to die. And it's another Clan Clash triple for Titan Esports. They're going to be able to triple U to 14's base. And they are now two for two. Getting the three star here with over a minute to spare. And my oh my, they are giving Queen Walkers a run for their money. Don't forget to use code Lexnos in the in game shop if you want to help support this channel. Thank you so much if you do. Stadra is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers, and they have to three star just to keep up with Titan Esports at this point. Stadra coming in with the Pee Wee Wee attack. Oh baby, early blimp with the rage spell. For the Inferno Tower compartment, going to be able to hopefully damage the King as well. They get through a Skelly Trap, do a little damage to the King. He starts the Queen with the Unicorn at 9 o'clock. Looks like he wants her to walk up and toward the Town Hall Chamber. He doesn't quite kill the King, but does a lot of damage to him. Gets him very low on HP. Queen walks inside the gap there, thanks to the new AI. That's beautiful. Healers on the Queen. Coco Loon out in front. She'll be able to naturally just walk the town hall here, which is nice. If he wants the unicorn to stay alive, probably going to have to invest a freeze. I don't know if the rage will keep her alive, does it? Ooh, she's taking a lot of damage from the Giga Inferno. Mm, unicorn goes down. Rip the unicorn. What did that unicorn do to you, Stadra? You just sent her straight to her death. We lose a healer to a Seeking Air Mine. CC troops come out. We're going to drop the Warden and the Owl with the Queen. Send the Pee Wee Wee from the top side of the base. King on the outside as well. Three witches to funnel. All right, down goes the Lava Hound. We find the Tornado Trap. We need everybody to wrap around the top side. Second wall break is in to get us into that Clan Castle compartment. And was that the last wall break? Or does he have one more? Peckers beat through a wall. But we might get an awkward troop split if some of them go down thanks to that wall break. He jumps over here on the right. Kind of connects everybody. So now everybody can take the jump. We got Wee Wee's going into the core, which is on the outside. Peckers over on the right. Need the healers to keep some of these troops alive. We lose another one to a Seeking Air Mine. Queen jumps into the core. Takes out the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. Royal Champion from the right side to help get the Eagle and push the rest of the troops back into the core. But there's a Tesla farm surrounding the Eagle. The Royal Champion and the Lassie get stuck on a Skelly Trap. Now they catch up. We're going to rage up the queen and the healers one more time right there. That's our last rage. She should be able to kill the enemy queen, but we got to pop the ability. She gets through it, though. Royal Champion already popped her ability, but we do have three free spells to use to keep her alive. Perfect freeze right there on the scatter and the archer tower. Just keep freezing, and he's got it. 
Down goes the scatter. Down goes the archer tower. One more freeze to get the cannon, and he can swag the last freeze spell. Stadras, Pee Wee Wee, is too powerful for Titan Esports. They are going to get another clan class triple. And after the second round of attacks, it is all tied up yet again. Six stars to six. Titan Esports are in on stars base. Let's see, they're bringing another hybrid. They love their hybrids. Gonna start off with a couple of loons to funnel the mourner. Baby dragon up top. Some sneakies over at 11 o'clock. A wizard as well. Where does he start this queen? Baby dragon actually might take out that wizard tower. Does he do enough damage to get it? Ooh, almost. Yes, he does. It's the wizard tower, which allows us to wall break into that multi-target inferno tower compartment. But does queen go in? I feel like he dropped her wrong. I don't think she goes in. She goes for the air defense. She's going to keep walking left. Ooh, rip the pathing for Manoj. Next wall break in on the wizard tower. We need that queen to go in. He's going to start losing healers. Have to freeze. Have to rage for her to get through this queen. Does she go in? No. Oh, this is bad news bears. He's going to send a couple of hogs trying to save it. Freeze on the headhunters. But the spring trap springs all the hogs. Oh, that spring trap was perfect for stars. No way. Say goodbye to all these healers. And now the true test to see how LOL is hybrid. If he still triples, then hybrid is just LOL for sure. The Inferno Tower is still up. Queen pops her ability. Got through the CC troops, but not going to get a whole, mo a whole lot of value after that. Sends all the miners to the multi and the hogs as well. Okay, interesting pathing. Town Hall is going to wake up. We're going to rage. We're going to pop this Warden ability. Boom. There goes the Warden ability. Send the hybrid to the core. King on the right side. Siege Barracks as well. Where's the first heal? Heal spell in the core. Skeleton Trap is there. We send a Headhunter for the King. We still got one more heal, but no freezes to go. There goes the second heal. We're stacking it on top of the first heal just to try and keep the miners alive as long as possible. Hogs from the Siege Barracks should take out the multi on the right. 52% in climbing, but with no more spells, troops are going to start dying very quickly here. And Stars' base is looking like it's about to get a massive, massive defense, ladies and gentlefish. Clan Castle building in the middle stays up. Road Champion trying to get that Eagle Artillery, but she goes down. So does the Owl, and so does the Warden, and it is going to be a huge defense. A couple miners still alive over here on the right side. We'll be able to grab a couple more buildings. Currently at 65. Can he get 69%? That would be absolutely pog. We got a Sneaky Goblin at 9 o'clock. The Gold Storage goes down for 66. The Collector goes down for 67. We need two more buildings. Wizard is in for the Collector. One more building for the Hut. Yes! 69. But he's going to get more than that. No! Rip. The magic number has gone away. But he gets 70. 71. All right. Decent. Decent recovery here for Titan Esports, but it's going to be a defense for Queen Walkers. And now the door is wide open for Queen Walkers to come through and run away with this match. Rambo, the puppy dog, getting so big. He's so cute and handsome. Gaku is in <clears throat> with the next attack for Queen Walkers, bringing us an Inferno Baby Dragon spam attack. Lightning spells for one of the sweepers. Okay, knock it out nice and early. We're gonna funnel with an E-Dragon on the top side of the base. King with the Unicorn. Queen with the Yak over at nine o'clock. Inferno Baby Spam coming in from the top left side of the base. Warden on air with the Owl to support. We do have a battle blimp for the Town Hall. We're gonna have to wait and see which angle he chooses to use it from. Freezes and Skeleton Spells all over the place to help distract for these Inferno Babies. Two Headhunters come out of the CC. Poison Spell for those, nicely done. King with his ability should be able to take out the enemy queen. We even drop a skeleton spell to help distract there. Blimp from up top to go all the way downtown for that town hall should make it there. Hopefully, yes, that baby dragon took a seeking air mine to the face and tanked for the blimp. That was nice. Freeze the town hall. Down it goes. Ooh, there's a tornado though. We send the road champion from three o'clock. Test the farm in that inferno tower compartment. Down goes the town hall. We got to get Queen to take out the scatter shot. That would be lovely if she could. Inferno Dragon takes the Seeking Air Mind to the face down there. Royal Champion has to pop her ability. This is actually looking a little sketchy now. Nah, just kidding. He's got it. He's got Queen ability. He's got RC ability. And he's got a free spell. He's got this. RC ability goes off. Gets all those defenses except the scatter. We can freeze the scatter if needed. And it's a clan clash triple for Gaku. 
And Queen Walkers are going to be three for three. Ladies and gentlefish, they just don't fail. Warden takes a Seeking Airmine to the face, but Owl is still alive with the Royal Champion and the Lassie to finish off the cleanup. We're going to have a minute and 20 to spare. Beautifully done from Gaku with the Inferno Baby Dragon attack. And now it is nine stars to eight. Queen Walkers with the lead after the third round of attacks. And Titan Esports are in with their next attack. They have to keep tripling or they need to triple this attack and their next one potentially if they want to beat Queen Walkers and hope for a defense. And they're coming in with a little PWU action. They're getting away from the hybrid now. Warden walk starting over at 9 o'clock. Is he going to try to Warden charge the Town Hall? Seems like it might take a, quite a bit of time though. That Town Hall is a little bit deep in there. Yeti to funnel over at 6 o'clock. I need to rage up the Warden soon just to get that Town Hall without burning too much time. Yeti might take out the Archer Tower, which is nice. Wizard helps get a few buildings as well. And he's not going to Warden walk the Town Hall. He drops the Queen. Healers switch, but now they're in range of the air defense. That's a little sketchy. We're going to drop two loons to try and distract. Warden is trying to get inside the Town Hall compartment, trying to commit suicide. But luckily, he steps back out of it. Expo locks on the Queen. The Healers are not switching back to the Queen. That's bad news, Bears. Oh, Warden's getting out in front. He thinks he's a golem. We pop the Warden ability to save everybody. Need the healers to keep that Queen and Warden alive. Blimp the Town Hall with the Rage Spell. Down it goes. Triple Skeleton Trap. Quadruple Skeleton Trap by the Town Hall. My goodness gracious. Jump Spell to the core. Peckers are without healers, which means they might go down. Doesn't matter how big they are. If they don't have any healing, they won't stay up. King on the right side. Wizards behind. They are staying alive. Luckily, the king's taking for them. Only one normal wizard on the outside to help funnel. Did he not bring any witches to this attack? Doesn't seem like it. Find the tornado trap on the right side of the base. We get through the enemy queen over there. Rage spell to help everybody up. Had to pop the queen ability. Luckily, the healers got the warden and queen back up to full HP. Now, we're encountering two multis at the same time. He has the royal champion on the right side to assist with the lassie. This still could work. Queen gets through all the inferno towers. Jump spell into the back end toward the eagle. Queen and Warden charge with a Royal Champion is basically all that's left. But with the last freeze and the RC ability, can he get this? He might be able to. If only we had a Headhunter to help kill the enemy King. That would have been beautiful. There goes the RC ability. It doesn't hit the Tesla, though. The freeze misses the Tesla as well. The RC is going to die, and that might mean it's a defense. If he had one Headhunter, one Headhunter to help the RC fight the enemy King, I think this could have been a triple. Can he still get it? Oh, queen getting slapped by the king and she goes down. And that's going to be a defense for Gaku. It looks like it might actually be a time fill. Healers on the warden. I don't think he's ever going to die. Wait a second. If the barbs take out the Tesla, they can do cleanup over there, bro. No way. Does he still get this? 30 seconds. Warden grabs the gold storage, grabs the Tesla. Can he get it in time? Down goes the other Tesla. Down goes the barracks. How much HP? The storage is full. Rip. I think we're looking at a time fill. Down goes the gold mine. Goblin dies on the top side. Warden snipes the Tesla. Barbarians cannot reach the platform. And it is going to be a time fill. Wow. Five seconds to go. Warden walks it down. Barbs are beating on a wall. And it's a 97% time fill. Nice try to Titan Esports. One headhunter. One headhunter that he saves for the back end, and that would have been a three star. But it's a defense, and Queen Walkers are looking strong now in this match. Stars is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers, and if he gets a three star here, the war is. I don't want to jinx it and say it's over, but they're going to have a pretty darn big lead, and he's coming in with what looks like a Blizzard Lalo with a heal spell. You don't normally see that. Let's see how he does it. Where does he start? Haste with loons to funnel. Blimp to land on the bomb tower, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. He wants it in that compartment. Yes, he does. Invisibility spell. Rage as well. We should be able to get the queen and the town hall. It's looking nice. Small bombs are there. But because the hasted loons killed the... Ooh. I jinxed it. I was going to say, because the hasted loons killed the bomb tower, the wizards won't die to the traps, but they do. The queen stays alive. Is that going to be a problem? Sneaky goblin to funnel the top side. My dog is going crazy trying to eat my cat. There's a hole in the wall that he's going to abuse right here. Let the king and the queen walk in. Queen might have pop her ability. Nope, we're going to use a free spell. She can kill the enemy queen. Heroes are going to walk in over at 10 o'clock. 
and a bowler. A bowler to help with the suey. And he hits a spring trap. Rip that bowler, dude. Lived a sad life for about three seconds. Unicorn should try to heal up the queen here. Skeleton spell is going to distract. We pop the queen ability. Queen might die through her ability if that scatter shot keeps going for archers. Ooh, that's close. Luckily, the unicorn's still healing her. She gets through the headhunters. King pops his ability. The yak is helping him beat through walls. He might kill the scatter shot. Come on, get that scatter. Get that scatter. That'd be OP. Yes, scatter goes down. Queen with a poison spell to deal with the lava pups. Can she kill all of them before she dies? I think she might kill most of them. She goes down. Royal Champion, we're going to send to the core with the Lassie. She should be able to clear that multi-targeting Inferno Tower with the Invisibility spell to help as well. Double Skeleton Trap to distract her. And we start the Lalo from the top side of the base. Hey, dog! Leave that kitty alone. He's trying to eat my cat. Pop the Warren ability super early. Headhunters to take out the Royal Champion. Another Lava Dog in behind. Royal Champion got everything in the core, then she goes down. Builder Hut's in the middle. We're gonna freeze the scatter shot and the expos. Two lava dogs flying toward the south side of the base. There's a Tesla farm in that eagle compartment. Remember, he brought the heal for this Lalo. Where are we gonna use the heal? He's being very patient with the heal spell. There he goes, using it over on the right side for the biggest group of loons. South side group of loons go down to the multi. Tornado trap inbound. We got one more haste, and that's it. He's gonna use it right there over the Tesla farm. Eagle Artillery shouldn't do any more damage. It goes down. He, loons are somewhat low. Hopefully no more red bombs. He might not get this. The loons drop like flies. An Expo, a Warden Tower, a Wizard Tower, and a Tesla stay up. And it's going to be the first defense for Titan Esports, guys. Stars not able to get it done here. Going to fall short around the 88% mark unless the Owl can snipe another building, and it does. Snipe the King as well. Yes, plenty of time to get the cannon, perhaps. I believe so. Ooh, the Owl dies. I don't know if the minion can get that in time. In fact, I don't think he does. And we're going to fall short at 90%. Nice try to stars, but not going to be able to get it done here. And now, Titan Esports st still have a chance, technically, if they can get one more defense and a triple. Unit 14 is in. Or do the last two attacks go in at the same time? Unit 14 is in, but we haven't seen that. Yes, they do. All right, last two attacks are in at the same time. And we're going to watch Yuta 14 here. Your guys' prediction counts for Yuta. Rip. Yuta 14 is in with the Queen Charge Lalo. And let's see if he can get it done. The only way Titan Esports win this match is if Yuta fails and Titan gets a triple. He wall breaks over here on the right. But Queen's going the wrong way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, King on the outside to funnel, but Queen and King are going to end up going into the same compartment. Ooh, the scatter shot. Queen can't reach it. We're going to send the Royal Champion to try and save this. Queen's going into the multi with the King. We need that Royal Champion to take out the air defense quickly before the healers are in range. Ooh, she might do it. Next wall break is not going where he needs it to. We've got one more wall breaker to try and get to the core. And it targets the Builder Hut. Royal Champion did make the funnel. Rage Bell for the Queen. All right. Eagle is going to get frozen with the Expo. We only have one poison. Had to pop the Queen ability. That's a lot of damage. Our Royal Champion died on the top side. We can't reach the Scatter at 9. Eagle wakes up and shoots the healers. This is looking sketchy for you to guys. Down goes the Eagle. We start the Lala from 9 o'clock to try and save the Queen. But she dies. The Super Minion is still alive. The Expo stays up. Queen is still up. This is looking really sketchy for you to... Gonna have to haste early. We got one haste, one invisibility. You should have used that invisibility. We're gonna blimp the town hall, probably pop the warden ability over the queen. There goes the warden ability to get us through the queen with the headhunters. Down she goes. Down goes the multi as well. Five more loons in the bag. Blimp should make it to the town hall. Where is the warden pathing? Warden takes a seeking air mine to the face because he paths all sorts of wonky. Rage spell to get the town hall down. And it does go down. I don't think he's got this, especially with another multi and the Royal Champion. He's got three spells, but he's choosing not to use them. Defense on the bottom, stay alive, and this is going to be low percent. Bruh, Titan Esports could win this match if they get a triple. What are they doing? Let's see how they're doing on Stodger's base. Coming in with the dragon attack to maybe win the war. Dragon's on the top side. We still got the RC to take out the multi. Queen pops her ability. Ooh, the RC is going to go down. 
It's up to the queen and the unicorn to finish off this base with the help of the warden. Can they do it? Sneaky goblins on the outside. We got one more sneaky goblin in the bag. Warden's gonna go down to the expo. That's huge. Queen to get the expo. She gets it. Can the unicorn keep her alive long enough? We got three more defenses. 25 seconds to go. Oh, but she goes for the gold mine first, then the Tesla, and she dies. Wow, that was close. Not gonna be able to get it done. Mr. Kim is stepping on my keyboard. And it looks like it's gonna be a victory for Queen Walkers. What a close attack this was for Titan Esports. And it got real interesting close to the end there. 90% here on their dragon attack. And Queen Walkers were able to get 71% with that last attack. And if we check out the stats, 13 to 12 victory for Queen Walkers, 92.2 to 91.6.